Hey everybody, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is grouping symbols. So it's the last lesson of our chapter, and so we're going to have parentheses inside of parentheses here. So in what order must we operations be evaluated when there are parentheses in parentheses? Okay. All right, so we're going to be talking about these kind of parentheses. These parentheses are we're used to right here. We'll use these things that are called brackets and use these th things that are called braces. They're all parentheses right there. We just have several inside the other. So, so Mark's weekly allowance is $8 and Wendy's weekly allowance is $5. Each week they each spend $2 on snacks. So we're going to write a numerical expression to show how many weeks it will take them together to save enough money to buy a class pet for $45. Look at that class pet. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we can use parentheses and brackets to write uh, this expression. So uh, parentheses and brackets are used to group operations that go together. These operations are always performed first. That's just the problem. I just slid it down there. Okay, so let's go ahead and write an expression to represent how much Mark and Wendy save each week. Okay, so how much Mark saves each week? All right, so think he he gets uh, eight dollars and then he spends two dollars. So the expression is eight minus two. And similarly, Wendy gets five dollars and she spends two. So it's five minus two. And I. I know um, uh, you guys are thinking, okay, that's six and that's three right there, but we're going to leave them in these expressions just so uh, we see how these order of operations work in a little bit. So how much money do Mark and Wendy save together? Well, we'll just put this expression together plus this expression together. And I know we're thinking six dollars and three dollars, but let's let's keep it like this with plus signs in between them for now. You'll see why in just a second, okay? All right. Um, and uh, let's see, so write an expression to represent how many weeks it will take Mark and Wendy to save enough money for the class pet, okay? So how many weeks will it take for Win uh, Mark and Wendy to save enough money for that class pet? Well, remember, uh, we can use brackets and groups. Oops, we have company here, sorry. <laughs> I'm at my house and my daughter just came home. My dogs are barking in the background. So it costs 45 or the pet costs $45 and we're going to divide that by the total amount of money that they save each week, okay? So 45 is going to go here and then here is going to be the total amount of money that they save each week. Well, that's going to be this right here. This these two expressions with plus signs is going to go inside of the brackets and then 45 will go right there, okay? So let's go ahead and solve the problem here. So let's do the brackets inside the parentheses inside the brackets here. This is 6 and this is 3. We'll do 6 and 3 first. Oops, let me slide that up. Okay. All right. And then uh, then we'll do these uh, brackets right here. So we'll do these parentheses 6 plus 3, which is going to get us 9 right there. And then we can do 45 divided by 9 is 5. So let's answer the question. It's going to take 5 weeks for Mark and Wendy to save to get that class pet. All right. Uh, let's try another one. So Greg gets uh, $6 for his weekly allowance and spends $4 of it. His sister Marcia gets $7 for her weekly allowance and spends $3 of it. Their mother Carol's birthday is in four weeks. If they spend the same amount each week, how much money can they save together in that time to buy her a present? All right, so we're going to write an expression and using parentheses and brackets. Okay, so here's the, the four weeks. This is at Carol's birthday is in four weeks. Okay. And then here's the money that Greg uh, uh, will save. He gets $6 and spends four of it. Marsha gets $7 and spends three of it each week. So we're going to add those together after we simplify that. So let's go ahead and perform the parentheses first. Okay, so 6 minus 4 is 2. 7 minus 3 is 4. And then we're going to do the 2 plus 4 next, you guys. So, uh, so here we go. So it gives us 6 right there. And then we can go ahead and multiply. 4 times 6 is $24. Okay. So Greg and Marsha will be able to save $24 for their mother Carol's birthday. All right, let's. Uh, what if uh, Marsha only saves? Uh, if only Marsha saves money, will this change the numerical expression? Well, yeah, it'll take out this whole Greg equation right here, so we'd only have um, uh, Marsha's money right here. Greg would be gone, so it would be four times the quantity seven minus three. Okay, and seven minus three is four, so four times four, she would save $16. Instead of the 24, let's try this, you guys. Uh, uh, so follow the order of operations here. So we have uh, we have brackets, parentheses, we have uh, braces. Here's the braces right here. So let's go through step by step, you guys. Let's perform the in the parentheses first. So this five minus two is this three right here, and then we're going to do this two plus four is going to get us six right here. Here's the times two right there. Okay. And then uh, let's go ahead and perform the brackets next, you guys. So we're going to do this. 3 times 3 and 6 times 2 right here inside the brackets, okay? 
3 times 3 is 9, 6 times 2 is 12. All right, then we're going to uh, now do the, the braces. So now we're going to do the 9 plus 12 right here inside the braces. 9 plus 12 is 21. So now we can finally, finally multiply. So 4 times 21 equals 84. All right, you guys, that's it. Take care.